Morning everybody from Heal the Comprehensive School. Uh, this is a message for parents who are thinking about and making decisions about whether their children are going to return to school with us later this month. So as you'll be aware, Monday, June the 29th is the date that schools can begin to welcome groups of learners back into school for what is being called a catch up, check in and prepare session. And we are planning the building now to make sure it's as safe as possible for us to welcome back your children. I just want to outline the key principles um, and what it's going to look like so you can make a really well informed choice when you make your decisions around coming back. So for us, we are confident that we can accommodate a year group each day. So we're looking at starting with your seven on a Monday, your eight on a Tuesday, your nine on a Wednesday and your 10 on a Thursday. And we're going to join your 12 with your nine as they are the two smallest year groups on a Wednesday. That leaves us Friday in order to have a more thorough clean and for staff to plan for the home learning that's continuing for other learners. We will accommodate those children in socially distanced classes. So we've had a health and safety visit. We've measured our classrooms and I'll take some pictures of those and videos for you to see later on so you can envisage what it's going to look like. And in those classes, children will be in approximately groups of 10. It depends on the size of the room, but they're between sort of 9 and 14 usually. And they'll be in their tutor group in that room or part of their tutor group will be together in that room with a group tutor. We're going to run four hour sessions. So we're going to run from nine o'clock in the morning until one o'clock at lunchtime. And that means that we're not running a lunch break. Uh, there won't be any hot meals available, but children will have a short morning break. So please send your child with a drink and a snack for themselves. Clearly, you know, the safety and well-being of everybody is a, a huge priority for us. So we'll be marking out two metre distancing around the school and outside the school to encourage people to queue and to keep that distance. We're not going to insist on school uniform because we want children to wear clothes that can be washed and we realise the blazers and ties don't easily wash in a washing machine overnight. So we're looking for some light clothes, PE kit ideally, or some other sports kit, not jeans, things that are light and can be easily washed. We will be insisting on lots of hand washing and hand sanitising um, on entrance into the building, into the classrooms and after activities. And during those sessions with a group tutor, we'll be talking about the learning they've already done at home and picking any issues they might have and also providing further work. So we will start looking at wellbeing, checking everybody's okay, dealing with any worries and issues that people have, but certainly in the further weeks, there will be some input from class teachers. At the moment, we're uncertain about how, how transport is going to look. So that's why we asked you on your first survey, would you be able to make arrangements? So if your child is coming into school for one day a week, would you be able to make an arrangement to get them there and bring them home um, on that one day? I think that would be very helpful because we're certainly looking at ra radically reduced numbers on buses um, and we would not be able to accommodate all of those children, in, in my view, on those buses. So could children cycle to school? We have cycle storage. Could they scoot? Could they walk just for that day? Or could you arrange transport? That would be super helpful. So that's it in a nutshell. I'll take you and show you some pictures in a moment. Can I ask you to make sure that if your phone number is not correct, if you're not getting texts from us, can you make some contact with us? The email address that you'd need to use is heoca at carefilly.gov.uk and in the letter that's coming out today it'll be on the website it'll be on twitter it'll be on facebook and it'll be text directly to you has a school mobile number on this you could contact us on that if we don't have your mobile number as well so that's all it, that's it from me i'm going to take you and show you some classrooms in a moment please stay safe please stay learning there's always going to be home learning going on. So even if your child is attending for one day a week, they will still be learning at home for the, you know, the, the other four days. And if your child doesn't come in, they will be learning for them online for all five days. So please encourage your child to keep working hard at home. And as we get more information about what it's going to look like, we'll stay in touch with you. And certainly into September, the anticipation is there will still be this blended learning of some time in school, some time at home. So this is a really good opportunity for, for us to, to trial out what it looks like and what works well for us and our children. So stay safe, keep in touch, and we'll speak to you all very soon. Bye bye. And just so we knew some in images, some still photos and some videos of classrooms that we've already set up measured out at safe two metre social distancing along the English corridor. So that's Miss Crandon's, Mrs Wilkinson's and Miss Price's classrooms all safely set up, ready to welcome you all back.